Hi Aries, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. Y'all know it's an open conversation for whatever they want to talk about. Whatever the cards bring out, that's what we're talking about. This week we're using or trying out a new Oracle deck. It's Maruk X. You can find them on Etsy. I'll try to remember to put a link uh, to their shop in the description uh, box. We are also using the Cosmic Tarot. And this week, I'm going to leave the message decks open for the conversation part of our reading. Whatever deck your person puts energy on, that's the one we're using to talk with. So, y'all know these readings are meant to give you confirmations of the things you already intuitively know and sense about your person. If that's not happening, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I picked up the energy there. Let's see whose energy is the strongest right now from our Aries. And what is going on? Let's ask them to show us with these cards what they perceive is going on in your connection. This is their perception of your connection. It's from my Aries person right here. Making an effort. I'm willing to put in the work to have our happily ever after. Ooh, somebody's willing to work to make things happy, happy. What else? Forgiveness. I'm willing to forgive you and let go of the past. Ooh, to forgive you and let go of the past. I mean, y'all know sometimes, uh, just because that card says that, sometimes it might be uh, the energy is flipped. <laughs> where you, They're hoping you'll forgive them. Mm -hmm. Either way, either way it resonates for you. What else? Balance. Ooh. Guys, let me grab... Granny glasses, y'all know some of these prints are hard for me to see. A finding balance between giving and receiving. Ooh, the balance. Wow. Okay. Dang. So we definitely got somebody that's willing to work on the connection. There's indication one way or another from your side, their side, both sides. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> That, you know, there's been a little bit of a breakdown in that we have been out of balance when it comes to the give and the take in the connection. So, let's pull the tarot. Let's see what they're going to talk about here. Let me get these out of the way. Let's come in on making the effort. Let's come to talk on that one a little bit. <clears throat> Willing to make an effort for the happily ever after, fix the issues. What do they want to say here? We've got a Prince of the Swords. That's the Knight of Swords. Gemini Challenger. They are up for a challenge. Mm -hmm. they, this one is opportunity to create something new. Something tangible and new. It's like sowing new seed to manifest something. So this person is definitely willing to put in time and effort. And anything else because it come in on a tangible pentacle, guys. <laughs> and judgment, rebirth, reinvent, uh -huh, resurrection. Mm -hmm. So they're definitely just saying again, they're willing, they're willing, they're up for uh, any challenge to overcome any challenge. Let's get them to talk on the uh, Gemini night here for a minute. Introspection. Oh, with that Virgo Hermit that's saying that they have, you know, they're they're not making a hasty decision here. They give it some real thought uh, and soul searching on this. Then we have a Three of Cups bringing the joy and the bliss into the connection. Uh, hang on, and Ten of Cups finding that bliss in that yeah heaven on earth. Let's let them tell us about that Three of Cups for a minute. Three of Cups of Sudden Destruction. It could indicate that um, in, in your connection that there could have been a third party, but also lifestyle. Lifestyle. Something about lifestyle. Because, you know, uh, sometimes that's Three of Cups is about celebration, raising the chalice. Something about lifestyle could have caused a destruction. And then we got a Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine Aries energy. 
Ow, whatever the destruction was, this could, like I said, if there was a third party, this could be representing there was a third party that pulled someone's attention away from the connection. Uh, our Queen of Wands is a magnet that pulls, she's like the light that the, the sunflower turns to and follows. Um, she's the the magnet, the attention getter, she's the influence. Uh, so this could be indication there was a, te a temporary influence that pull, that caused a destruction. But it could also indicate that your person, because of um, the breakdown, the unbalance, and the threat of there's gonna, not going to be a connection <laughs> if something doesn't change, uh, that th that uh, lifestyle, whatever that got in the way, has now put got their focus totally, totally on you, Aries. Mm -hmm. Totally focused on it. So the, it, it's like that moment of, and this is a soul, uh, major arcane of soul searcher, soul searcher change with their judgment. Um, so they definitely have had a change of heart. You've got their attention, and they want they want to work on uh, whatever's broke down in the connection. Mm, let's see what else. What else are we getting here? Ooh, right here, forgiveness, the heartache, three of swords. Yeah, three of swords. Mm, I don't think I really need to go deeper on that unless I don't think they will want to talk that, that simple talk forgiveness from for the heartache mm -hmm, and the sorrow. Let's talk about the balance. Let's get them to come over to that card of balance and talk on that for a minute. Queen of Cups, Cancer energy with a Prince of Wands, a Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Ow, I like that. Hang on. Mm, three cups again. Let's see what else. Hang on. Cancer energy is going to bring in your fourth, fourth house energy. Happy home and hearth, your roots and foundation, and something stable, the commitment. But we got the, uh, the Sagittarius, that mover, the knight. Uh, of wands is the mover. Ooh, and we got cancer again. Mm -hmm. But we also got that three of cups. Mm -hmm. So they're definitely wanting to get in sync with each other because y'all know the chariot card can uh, have us pulling apart or either coming back into alignment and moving forward together. It's a, the battle wagon. It's called the battle wagon. It's a determination what are they saying about that Three of Cups, though? Because we got that uh, Prince of Wands looking at that Three. Five of Swords feeling defeated. Uh-huh. Heavy Burden. Mmm. And the Four of Wands, the commitment, the honor, the respect, it, but also hit the Milestone. Oh, okay. So whatever that three of cups representing, guys, like I said, it could be a lifestyle, you know, anything that's considered, you know, a third, <laughs> a third party. That can be job, work, addictions, persons, things like that. Whatever it was, it really pinned your person down. It made them feel defeated. Uh, put a heavy, heavy load on them. But it also helped them reach the milestone. That four wands is a milestone. It's respect, honor, ceremony. Ready to step into and move forward. Work together to achieve something to move forward. And move into a deeper, tighter commitment and bond with each other. So your person has definitely had a wake up call. Because what, like I said, whatever that three cups representing for you. In the connection, it really... It really defeated your person. In in our cosmic tarot, the one thing you'll notice with the Five of Swords is the person is like <laughs> pinned down. They they they're like yeah, 
it, it causes major change because you feel absolutely defeated. So, so you, what they are saying, they definitely want a solid commitment. They want to, to make a commitment to each other and build from that. A new determination, they're ready to take, take the action. Uh, and they may be saying, uh, Aries, that you're their queen of my heart. You've captivated my heart. My, a lot of times when our queens come out and they represent you, even if you're a guy and your person is representing you with a queen, it's simply saying you captured my heart. Our, our feminine energy will actually capture the masculine energy. So, yeah. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Let's go ahead and get on... Um, to pick a deck they want to uh, talk with real quick. Let's put the energy on this deck and hold it for my Aries. Let's see where your person is wanting to start. Which deck do they want to use? Start energy out, please. Aries person, Aries. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> We're getting the Big Mama deck. Somebody else, somebody else's person chose the Big Mama deck. I guess because it's familiar. We've always done the reading, these readings with the Big Mama deck. So, we will go with it. Let me get the energy up on it for us. I've already pre-shuffled, but I need to uh, set the energy for my Aries specifically on the deck. Aries person. Aries, 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 Aries. Okay, hold the energy on that side for me. It's for my Aries, my Aries, their person. Let's get that one more time. One more time. Aries, Aries, okay. Per oh, that one feels warm. We're going with this one first, y'all. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's see what you want to say. Aries person. He's right here. My life is so messed up right now. <laughs> life feels messed up right now is what I'm hearing. Not just my life, but life feels messed up. Your person is saying. You're so intimidating. Sometimes you're so intimidating. What else? What else? Look right here. I don't care what other people think. I just want to be with you. Mm -hmm. Do we have other people chiming in with their opinions? I'm not in a good place mentally and financially. Mm, I almost wanted to stop it mentally. But it's for some of us, yeah. Probably all of us financially. Let's come in on the, the middle card on that uh, heartache. See what they're wanting to say. I feel so self-conscious around you. Mm -hmm. Move that over a little bit. Aries person, Aries. Right here. Here's my hands on it, y'all. <laughs> but I'm here for you. Yes. Here for you. Feeling self-conscious right now, though. What else? What else? Mm. Right here. Mm. Guys, we're going to a lot here. I admire everything about you. Can you forgive me? Who I forgive you? Can you forgive me? I'm very drawn to you. Very attracted to you. You know it. Dealing with my insecurities, the negative self-talk is a constant battle for me. Let's come in on that Queen of Cups. Queen of my heart. Oh, money problems. So, yeah, some of us definitely money problems. I'm worried there is someone else. There is someone else. This is taken forever. Oh, what's taken forever, Aries? Hopefully somebody will get it. That may not be for all of us. It's more than sex. I'm almost hearing this with a question mark for some reason. Is it more than sex? Is it more than sex? Mm, okay. Guys, let's go ahead and hold the energy on this side of the deck. We'll use the uh, next side on the second round. Let's 
go back to the tarot. Let's see what they're wanting to say. What else they want to talk about? Let's ask them a question. Let's ask, let's direct the conversation here. Let's ask them, because like I said, I feel like they're putting a question mark on, is it, is it more than sex? Let's ask them about their concerns right now, their biggest concerns in your connection. The Magician card, King of Cups, Scorpio Energy, and New Love, and Aries, Emperor, Emperor Energy, Divine Masculine Energy. So with this one, their biggest concern right now in their subconscious, it is, I'm, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's a little bit on the paranoid side. That Magician card is about energy and manifesting what it is you want, and they're worried that your heart is being given over to a new love. Uh -huh. And I think they're represent that's like a confirmation I'm talking to Aries, my Aries. But it's also when you put it with this one, it's like, do you, are you do you have plans I don't know about to give your heart to a new love? So yeah, they do they do have some concern here. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and let them start talking again. See what else will come out. From an Aries person, whatever you want to bring out here. Ooh, Five of Cups. Five of Cups is, you know, a card of grieving, but it's also the emotions of disappointment, feeling left behind, things like that. So they're definitely worried, and y'all know that's coming in on that, um, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> happily ever after, work on our happily ever after. Our next one, we got the Prince of Pentacles. That's the Knight of Pentacles. That's our builder. So this person most definitely is willing to work on the connection and do whatever it takes to bring that happiness. And they're feeling defeated over here on the balance. Mm, again, defeated. It's, sometimes that card uh, is about lacking confidence. Just simply lacking confidence. Mm, let's go and talk on that for a minute. Tell me about the Five of Swords, please. Six of Swords. They're ready to uh, write a passage, ready to move away from the storm. Uh, the You know, the troubles that we have, the troubled waters that we have in our connection. And they because they feel like you're fated to be together with that will of fortune. And, oh yeah, ascend things to a higher level. <clears throat> that's also to move quickly. You know, anytime we get an eight of wands, it's about fast moving momentum. It's also about hitting the mark. You're aiming for something and you hit the mark. But uh, communications, things like that, uh, a lot of times it'll represent long distance communication, fast travel, stuff like that. This person is definitely wanting to to move things to a higher because our wands most of the time are always shooting higher into the air. It's aiming higher in the connection. This person really feels like you're fated to be together. You're meant to be together. And they're ready to overcome that, whatever, that defeat that happened that caused the... Uh, unbalance the imbalance in this connection they're ready to step into a commitment and for some reason i'm picturing someone you know someone that has held off for a long time on, on really getting serious and committing to building something together building uh you know a legacy together and in i got a feeling like i said there's a wake-up call a big time wake up call of they're losing you and that has uh, ignited a fire under them of where they want they are ready they realize they are ready they don't want to be left behind let's let them talk on the five of cups for a minute tell me about the five of cups magician again change 
to a balance and change in Empress. Ooh, yeah, they definitely worried. Like I said, they they're worried that you have you're trying to manifest change. You're going in a different direction, and you you got their you know their total attention right now because they're throwing out that Empress card. And the Empress will represent happiness, life, and vitality. So they're really worried that you've decided that you're going to find that happy life, vitality, abundance somewhere else besides them. And that you are in the process of acclimating change away from them, going away from them. So they're definitely worried about being left behind. Let's get them talk on that Prince of Pentacles. Real quick on that builder, that Virgo, grounded practical energy now. Let's get them talk about the builder. Building what? Change. Again, change. I'm, I'm willing to change. Dissatisfaction. They, this, also, this one is very much an uh, introspective kind of card. It's a card of uh, waking up to realize Everything that's ever motivated you in the past that got you to choose the direction and the things you were doing is no longer serving you. Your priorities changed. Uh, so, you know, you go in a different direction because what was important to you in the past is no longer important because, you know, your priorities changed. And we've got a princess, a page of swords. With that page of swords, it, it just, that is our messenger. And sometimes it can represent subconscious triggered, uh, you know, shadow fear thoughts. Um, but it's also wanting to talk. Positive side of that page is energy. I don't think I say this enough uh, on, on our page of swords energy. But the Page of Swords is very optimistic. It tries to stay very optimistic and, you know, follow the light in the thought of override the subconscious thoughts of everything's going to be okay. That kind of thing. But let's let's jump in. Let's see what that uh, subconscious uh, trigger thought is for your person. When you get triggered, what does it say to you? What's the thought telling you? What is the thought telling you? Empress again. Seven of Wands is tired of me and now ready to defend herself against me. And Six of Wands, the victory card. And walking away. Yeah. Mm, victory card, attention, walk away. Mm -hmm. But it's the Seven of Wands is about. Uh, courage block and protect stand up for yourself and sometimes it will have a stand up for others that we feel like they can't stand up for themselves. but it's literally saying the empress is in a sit down i'm taking no more action towards you i'm just watching and observing and making a decision i'm blocking protecting uh you got my full attention right now six of wands is a victory card but it's also about being in the spotlight being looked at and feeling like you're being judged or critiqued so to say and walk away walk away the seven of swords let's go ahead and get your person talking with message cards hold the energy on that for me it's for my aries mm. let's get them talking it's for my aries Whatever you need to say. Let's come in on that five of cups. Five of cups. Mm, right here, guys. Let me grab a hold of it. I want you so badly it hurts, but there are too many reasons why I shouldn't. I feel overwhelmed. You confuse me. Ooh. One more standing out here. Hold on. I wish things were simpler. Let's come in on our builder here. Let's see what they want to say on that Virgo. Nine of Pentacles. Please try to understand how I feel. We've got confirmation for someone. We've got February. Aquarius. Pisces. That may not be for all of us, but for someone. Should be confirmation. What else? 
Oh, we got another one, January, Capricorn, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? I'm scared of losing what we have together. Let's come in on that defeat card, that Five of Swords over there. I wish you could see how beautiful and amazing you truly are. I don't want to stand in here. I'm going to get my fingers on it, y'all. Tell me what you need. Anything else? Anything else? Yes, right here, guys. Misunderstandings drove us apart. Okay, let me get my hands back on this deck. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Right here. I love you more than I love myself. Mm, hold the energy on the deck. Let's go ahead and push up. Let's get your person to focus in on the deck. They want to give you final and closing messages from. This is for my Aries. Mm, I love it. The rose deck. Light side of the rose deck. Let's go with it. Final messages for my Aries. From their person. Aries, Aries, Aries. Right here. I can't get you out of my head. It's like we share the same mind and heart. Oh, I don't care what others think. I just want to be with you. We've got somebody chiming in with an opinion, don't we? I feel like I have been missing you my whole life. There we go. Give me a chance. There is nothing that I wouldn't do for you. There is no doubt in my mind that we belong together. You're so beautiful. Don't let me lose it, y'all. It's right here. I'm not... I'm not sure how you really feel about me. Mm -hmm. I hope you feel the same. Right here, our last one. I'm hoping and praying. Hoping and praying. Ooh, Aries. Guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.